Hey everybody, welcome back to Bass and Bonsai. Welcome to the show. Uh, got a quick unboxing, talk about a few things. Shot shows taking place. I don't have any info other than what videos I've seen on YouTube, but I will tell you a couple things if you're not watching videos on uh, the kind of main few pistols that interest me uh, this year. But before we jump into the unboxing, I just put out a little uh, quick short highlighting this one this is about done and i did i know a lot of you guys are like because i weathered it will be like oh no you didn't you destroyed it so anyway uh the little short i put out was without the light because i couldn't get to balance on my little deal that i'll go ahead and tell you about that you can also get if you want one of these little cool little things i got it back in the day because guys were putting their uh, fishing reels on and making little things and i started making shorts with that and highlighting some fishing reels but guess what if you place a pistol on there right, it'll do the same thing with it. Uh, they're like 10 or 15 bucks off. Uh, eBay may even have them, but AliExpress, a little portable uh, turntable type deal. Anyway, so this thing is the only one that is pretty much basically about done, unless I change my mind and decide to change something else on it. But very nice overall. Everything works. I'll give you a quick rundown of what is in it. It's basically PSA lower and upper. Uh, Shadow Systems Barrel, Strike Industries little micro, I think they're called mini or micro, I don't know, then they make one even smaller. Uh, that is a knockoff Surefire Light AD uh, Artemis Red Dot, which the reason I got it, I still can't really recommend them because I haven't really tried it for that much longer, but I don't like the way this one or my other cheap uh, Votatu, they don't really have a cover. I know they're not uh, uh, enclosed. Uh, red dot, but they also uh, the hollow suns in them up in there where the emitter area is enclosed, making them waterproof. But that's not really what concerns me. I don't plan on doing any scuba diving with these, but I don't want if I, I feel something could get in there and there's just no way you're going to get it out. Like it's going to gunk up your it's harder to try to clean to wear with the hollow sun. As I found out when I thought my hollow suns were bad. Is there? It's even hard to, harder to show you, but there is a. It's a covered thing that you can wipe off with the Q-tip or worst case scenario, part of your shirt, you know, or something, cloth, and cleans it, and you're back good to go. To where some of these cheaper ones don't have that issue. That's the only really negative thing I have about this one. The positive is it's multi reticles. Goes through a lot of different uh, stages. Uh, uh, shake awake auto. Uh, you know, shut off feature and kicks back on when you shake it. Uh, it's pretty simple to use. Does have several different brightnesses. It's not the most. It's not as clean as a Hollow Sun or any of the higher end ones, but it's pretty good. The I think it's the Votatu is actually. It has some ghost little things that pop up. It's hard to explain. Works fine, but it you just have to see it in person. I can't even show it on camera. This one doesn't. Typically do that, but it's not just as crisp or clean as what a hollow sun or some of your higher end ones are. But so far it's working fine. It was under a hundred bucks. So pretty good. Uh, oh, the Ranger proof trigger shoe with a Glock performance trigger assembly inside. That's that uh, knockoff. Knockoff. <laughs> it's not a knockoff. That's the printed uh, Magwell you can get off eBay for like 24 bucks, 25 bucks or whatever. And they do make a difference between the compact. This is a compact, and then the full size is a different shape. But we also have those on uh, here. And so far, I've not had any issue. I kind of interrogated, interrogated, oh boy, interrogated, no. I kind of made those look like a one-piece deal to a certain extent, just because I, it, it kind of looked weird. This is the only one I went ahead and kind of kept it separate like that. I just, in my mind, it looked better, uh, more custom, just to do it all the way down. On all, I did it on all the other my uh, peanut butter guns, not my grape one. This guy, uh, oh, and then this. Uh, some of you guys asked me, uh, I couldn't figure out how to take the and share a link to you from eBay. I don't know if I want to because they may not allow that on YouTube, but anyway, they just call that a loom instead of aluminum, uh, mag release. So Put A-L-U-M in the search for Glock 19, Glock 17, whatever, mag release, and it'll bring these up with the two holes. That's the main difference. There's also other ones. But it's it's deceiving because it's not aluminum, which is cool thing about it because you're dealing with uh, basically plastic on the outside, magazines on all of them you're going to have. 
And so, and I've had it in another video. The actual release itself is polymer. It's, just, it's almost identical to what the dagger comes with, but then just that top part that bolts on is what the part that's actual aluminum, and it works real well. So anyway, enough about this gun. This isn't what this video is about, right? And I don't like the idea of using that Anyway, because I've noticed that the more you just push down and try to use it as a release, uh, it's just more damaging, uh, in my opinion. But I've also looked into, and I haven't, I just haven't got them yet, and I'll just give you guys a heads up. It's years ago, they've been out for years, but the ghost that you would all would associate with the uh, connector, right? But I believe it's the same company, Ghost also makes the stop slide stop or release that uh, actually goes this way or even with the little, uh, you know, uh, welded on button. And I think that would be better for me because I've been looking at the uh, CAG works, right? The one that like goes up and back, but it's like in the way, like it, I feel it could get in my way more than it would help me. So I think just having a bump on one would help me because the problem I have is I don't realize I'm on it, and then I'm on it, and I'm shooting, and I'm like, oh, that magazine didn't uh, keep lock the slide back on the last round, and guess what? It was, it, magazine was fine. It was me holding it down. So the button sticking out right here, not coming back a little further, because my thumb just hits right, like, I don't like that. My thumb can go way up here. So I think the one that actually goes forward would be the better one for me, which puts it closer to, like, what the, uh, Springfield Echelon, it just has a little thing that sticks out kind of even with the hole. It doesn't come down at all, and it, it just works way better for me. So I think that's what I'm looking at. Those are like $18.95. The CAG works like $45 or $50, bucks, and I think it would actually be a better working deal for me. Plus, the CAG works, I've seen not everybody. I've seen one or two guys on YouTube complain about, and I guess it bends in. They don't pay attention. It'll scratch up your slide. Not that it would hurt this one, but anyway. So let's set this down. Let's get the, I don't have any room for it. So I guess I keep holding it. Let's set it right here. So what we should have unboxing is a barrel for the Glock 19X style, which is actually the only one with the true any parts that are come from a 19X. But all three of these other builds are like that. But before I get to the unboxing, I know you want to watch an unboxing, but I got one more thing to talk about. SHOT Show. The two most interesting things to me. Well, one, the fact if you don't know primary, uh, primary arms. I saw the Skittles sticker that uh, Grand Thumb and them kind of made them make. But uh, Palmetto State Armory has asked you guys to go on there and recommend what uh, their little motto kind of saying is. For, uh, they can do anything, but they can't do everything. So they're kind of wanting to know what the majority of people would like to see them work on, which is pretty much the micro dagger to be in stock when you want to get one right the lower for sure the upper seems to be there but anyway they're also working on not this thing but they have a dagger i've seen it pictures of it a true uh the complete slide with the port uh you know compensator kind of built in like what your uh they have already done with some of the sigs and they actually have with the micro dagger upper so that and a couple other things but the most exciting to me as far as uh, i guess being a shadow systems fan is the fact that they've got the xr 920p with the extended rail so it would come up looking well better than this one but so and it looks like it's more or less like a Radian Ramjet stuck on your Glock 19, but with the extended all the way out to match up even with your comp. So if you don't haven't seen those videos, go check those out. That's a pretty cool. Uh, they're gonna be like a thousand, eleven hundred bucks, something like that. I'm guessing it's what they what they're guessing or saying. Uh, which you can once they've been out the, and I, I probably won't buy one because as you guys know already, I don't like the ergonomics of uh, Glock or. Shadow system because they're close to a Glock. They're not identical. You can change that, but over what I do, the dagger. I just, the dagger, and these guns are all clear, by the way. Everything, like I've talked about in several videos. If I'm down here working on it, this is a workbench. It's, everything's clear. But this thing, uh, just the grip, whether it be the compact or the full size, just uh, the actual way it's narrow here to let this set in, uh, you just have a better purchase 
on this firearm, in my opinion. So uh, what I'm thinking about, though, if they get to it and they make an FDE colored XR920 with the comp thing and I come across the right deal, I may try to at some point get one of those. I haven't decided for sure yet. So let's get to the unboxing. Let's not talk about this. I had to make that. So we've got a big package and a little package. The little package should be the barrel for this, so we're going to do it last. Big package is, should be one or two of our range bag gun soft cases, whatever you want to call it, coming all the way from China. And these were seven, eight bucks, uh, something like that. So let's just get them out. And I know I just I just got different colored ones, so I could keep track of when I finally do put these uh, pistols in a bag. I can just look at the color and know which one's which. So I don't really have uh, the I don't know the 19x actually may go in this one. I haven't decided for sure yet. So we got typical AliExpress. One big one was two little ones, and this is another one. So one can I thought I ordered them all three from the same uh, store on AliExpress. Maybe I didn't. So I've got one more coming, and that'll complete what I, I bought one from them already. I think I've showed you guys in a video from one of the stores. I think these are all three the same because these are only like seven or eight bucks. Is this the same size? Should be. Now that looks a little jinky, janky, but this will be the one that my. So I'm basically this firearm here, pistol, blaster, whatever you want to call it. Is going to go with this and then with this too so it's my i don't have a true camo that's the closest i get uh right sniper green this 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 kind of building a cool setup to run uh let's open this one They're... and then i guess this one is probably going to be the glock 19. Ooh, it's in a ziploc bag Fancy. Keeping it sealed fresh. So if you guys aren't familiar with these, of course you got the front just to put whatever kind of little maybe paperwork. I don't know what you want to put in that little thing. So let's open it up. Let's find the zipper. So far, and this will be number two and three. Uh, do I have just one more? Oh yeah, because the, the other two of my daggers came with and the one. If you can get the chance to get the PSA dagger with the bag when they were on sale for like 59 bucks, came the lower with the bag. That bag is, in my opinion, a little better than these. Look at that crazy color. What color is that? Oh my God. The inside of this one turned like to a crazy color. Perfect for the 19X. But it basically almost... Close to what the shadow systems come like. I would say the shadow system looks a little more well made, but they basically have spot, you know, stick your blaster in here to keep it from bouncing around the mag. Then you got a bunch of uh, slots to keep your magazines, and that's pretty much all you need, right? Little range bag. And for under 10 bucks, chipped and all, like uh, you, you can't beat it. You can't beat it with a sharp stick or with a hammer. You just can't beat that price. Okay. So let's move this out of the way. Let's go with what we're trying to put together here. We've got this. Oh, and if you guys follow along with that, you do not want to get that uh, mount to try to put a red dot on. The one I got from eBay was horrible. Oh, my God. Whew. Where's my knife? I still haven't found my knife. I need a sharp stick. How about a sharp screwdriver? All right, let's get this opened up. I would be doing this as a live stream, but YouTube won't let me. They will not let me. They just sent this in plastic and then more plastic. So there's no box, a little plastic bag, and then a littler plastic bag. Fold it over, not sealed. I could reuse this one. They saved the seal for me. This should be my barrel. Okay, we got a barrel. This was a $45 eBay barrel, I think. 
but we'll, and we'll check the colors just to see because I ordered the PSA one that I actually have in my uh, shadow systems now because I robbed the shadow systems barrel and put in this and it's got just it had a slight I didn't wear that that was it's already the wear it has is from shooting it that's the only thing on this fire I'm just looking at this it looks all old and worn in the only thing that's used on it is the barrel the everything trigger trigger shoe all that stuff the red dot the light is was purchased brand new and then made to look like it's a little worn in but it's still so it should last as long as it's going to last as it would new it just looks like it's has thousands of rounds on it or been used a lot so there's what you get just an ebay that cheapest uh ebay barrel that you can get uh basically is what uh wherever it is in this one i guess i should start showing clear they're all clear but so that one but it comes with the ports the, the ported or not tends to be the same price and they come uh with the uh flush cut crown thing so let's compare it to so this is psa i think they're they're a little different here, let's do this different. I'll show this one clear too. So you guys won't think I'm trying to shoot you and won't shoot me. Think I'm trying to shoot you. So this this are like 109 bucks, but they are, you know, uh, spiral fluted, threaded, all that kind of stuff. But even their regular ones like this are still 89 or something. So that color is very close. This is like a lighter, almost the same hue, I guess. Is that the way to describe a color but like in a lighter form of it so i like the the color's not bad it's definitely not uh i'll show you the comparison like with that every time you get this buy something it just looks orange compared to any other uh, copper or bronze type uh barrel but i like that color it goes good with the trigger and with that uh maggerly so I don't know if I like this color for sure. I had the, uh, oh, I can't show you guys how to do this. They will get me. You guys should all know how to put a barrel in, but we did get this. Uh, that's an adapter. I bought to turn a Gen 3 into the Gen 4 or 5. Let's see how that color matches up. So it's not loaded. I just put it together. Here's what it looks like in there. You see there is a little bit of a gap, but every barrel I've put in this Gen 5 has that kind of look going. It's like it touches down here, but it doesn't quite go to the top. Those two colors are a little bit off. Not bad. So let's just slap it together and see what it does. I can't show you that either. Let's, let's just... Oh my God. Okay. Empty. And if you're wanting to put in a lighter, I was going to check the trigger, but if you want to put in uh, a lighter recoil spring, you have to make sure, in my opinion anyway, I've, and somebody else showed this to me, I was watching a video, and it makes sense, at least the starting point is if you try to put a lighter recoil spring in, and you pull back, if it won't go back in on its own, it's chance of malfunction kind of deal. But anyway. So let me show you this. I can show you this much because I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hang on a second. I can't get demonetized for showing you how to add a magazine and a light. But this thing, if I can just figure on the right barrel because i haven't decided for sure if i wanted because i could go threaded or i could go threaded with the comp because the this comp would actually work i had it i've already had it on it i know it looks a little narrow but it goes right it goes on flush uh threads on right at the right point where it's just enough gap where it's not going to be beaten into itself but it actually matches up and looks pretty decent on there and it goes well with that uh, red dot, just how they got the same kind of look going, if you like that kind of thing. But I just don't like, I don't like compensators that stick out too far. 
except for this little short dude right here. But just to show you what, this could be a finished deal right now because you could just stick this on it and I've kind of gone with that color barrel because it goes kind of with this. So I think I'm pretty much done. And that magazine, by the way, was totally empty. Uh, and yeah, it does lock back if you go all the way back. But you can just reset your trigger without going all the way back. So that's pretty much, let me raise this up a little bit, a done deal also, uh, like unless I want to go crazy money-wise and get the actual slide milled for red dot, you know, and then put a better red dot. I'm just checking that one out to see how well it'll work. But I think I already like it, like it definitely looks works uh we're just gonna go shoot it and see how it performs maybe with that barrel or maybe i haven't decided yet maybe with this barrel i do have a cheap 40 dollar black barrel coming because i'm thinking about just putting this thing back to i got it with the uh, war poet threaded black barrel that was i sh probably should have kept i may actually try to go back up there and if they still have that pistol try to work them out a deal on just replacing that and getting the actual war poet keeping it stocked Maybe. Or just putting the flush cut. I've got a flush cut. Basically, this exact th same one coming in uh, black for 40 bucks. It's $39.99 on eBay. So I'm going to put it in that, see what I think of it. The possibility that barrel may go in here uh, just with this. Uh, just it, with, it just would leave you the, me the option to if I wanted to go with the, one of those little micro or one of these little comps at some point or whatever. So I'm a little undecided right there. You guys comment whatever you think. Uh, like, is that a done deal? To, oh, and the trigger. I am going to, I just don't know which one. I want a uh, possibility. I wanted to kind of highlight the fact, because I love this color of the 19X on the slide. That's a very awesome color. And I didn't want to put too many different colors and too much gold that takes away. But actually, adding gold doesn't seem to take away a lot from it. But I didn't want to go too nuts. But I think a trigger, I don't know. I had the red trigger, which, where's the red trigger? Oh, this and then this. We'll talk about it in a second. That's a letdown so far. But the red trigger in here, I didn't, I didn't, I don't like the red trigger. I don't think I like the red trigger on a peanut butter gun. Awesome trigger. I just don't like the color, the red. The lone wolf trigger is probably the one I recommend. I can't find a, I found red blue pink or purple and i think solid black but i was kind of looking for an off gold one but i may end up getting one of these another gold one and then really dulling it out to where almost taking all the gold off kind of thing and then because i like the way that trigger looks works and everything's just a little too bright of gold for what i feel this is was could be all right that's the unboxing uh stay tuned more updates on this guy so far i'm uh ugh, get up there i've only got it to like i don't think i think i'm gonna have to work it to get back a little bit i've not went and tried to shoot it yet and i was playing around with colors i do not like that what i did <laughs> I just need to put some acetone, get it back to black probably, and start over. But it's just paint. It's not like Cerakoted or nothing fancy. But this guy right here, uh, so I stuck the, ape, the Apex, the uh, Timney Alpha trigger in it. And let's just, because it feels very good, but... The reset. Uh, I guess let me show you the reset. If you guys can see that hesitation. Like you can almost see my finger coming away from the trigger and just the pressure of the safety part. So watch this. 
don't know if you guys can make out, like I'm taking pressure off that trigger and it's not pushing like it should, I feel anyway. The trigger itself, like you just take that in, that's how much like very little uh, take up and then it breaks real good, but it's just a, like you guys see that? Like I'm taking off some, I don't know, it do, does not push through like it should. Like, let me show you again real quick, clear with this guy. Like this one. Crazy. Like, I could feel that one. They're pushing the whole way. As soon as I start letting it come back, it's coming with me. Like, I can't really outrun it. It's, doop. I feel that this dude... Like, it comes back, but it's just not... I can't explain it. There, There's a feeling there, and I've had a few of you guys comment about, yeah, but it, you know, it, it's just, of all these, everything I have, even just a... That, just the stock, the shadow systems. Uh, let's try the Glock. Ah, I got the magazine in there. I'll just take that out. I don't need it in there right now anyway. Like, they all just push back on me like I can feel it. And then this one, I just, I feel it hesitate and it, I don't know. Once I get out shooting it, it may not bother me, but it's it just annoyed. And it was the most expensive, basically. I mean, I got it on sale for like 103 bucks, but... The Glock Performance you can get comes with just a polymer shoe, but it just feels like way better, in my opinion. And I'm got, I'm waiting on, well, one more, two more barrels or whatever. I got a barrel coming for this, but it's really not the right one. And this is like, <sighs> this slide's a letdown. This was my favorite slide until I got it in, and I just, something about it, and I tried it. It came, it's almost was the same color as the dagger lower FDE but then I tried to I tried to get and the color I got was a metallic that was a big mistake big mistake to get metallic bronze uh, it's honestly a horrible color unless you are a crazy gold fanatic so then I tried to wear it in, and then it looks worse. So this one's definitely going to go take all the part, and it doesn't look better in person either. So I need to take everything back out of it, uh, acetone, get it back to at least just a worn this color, and then maybe just leave it alone. <laughs> I can't decide what I want to do. I thought I liked everything about it until, like, in person, it just is probably my least favorite slide now. I thought it was going to be my favorite. I, I even like this color on these guys. Um, just kind of a brown. I don't even know what you call that color. On the Leo Precision ones, I beat this one to heck, but it's going to be fine. It's just got its own little worn out. This trigger is still my favorite shoe, like I mentioned. Like, And it's just everything that's just added I had a little uh, you know did the Johnny Glock's trick to t do remove some of the take up but still keep it on the ledge other than that it's stock dagger stuff with just that shoe and it, it just uh, I just like the feel of it over all the others I'm not a huge fan of how skinny the that is, that's the, if I had a downside to it, that would be the only downside. And it's weird, it doesn't hurt, it's just when you first put your finger on the trigger, you feel how skinny that is. It doesn't, and then, you know, once you're, like, doing whatever you're doing, if you're out shooting and just letting it, you know, it, it probably wouldn't be an issue again that other than that very first time. Man, that... I know this is a this is a more used one, but that 
everything on this shadow system is just uh, feels smoother. It's so like this one. That's maybe my uh, favorite feeling shoe other than Wow, that thing barely moves. This one's almost, it's not quite as skinny, but it feels pretty good. Chimney Alpha, actually this one feels good. I wish that reset. I'm, I'm gonna keep working on it. Uh, I guess I should take it apart and show you what I'm talking about because I've mentioned it a few times in comments, but I've never really Maybe in one video I mentioned it, what I'm talking about. I'm not going to take it apart and do it for you guys. But So the whole problem is right here. So when it comes up, and I've, I've played with it to get it, I've, I've actually taken, uh, I put it in this trigger housing that I picked up for like 13 bucks off eBay that if you look in there, it's got a screw going this way to uh, take away that... Uh, you know, so there's less uh, reset. And so when I played with that, and it's really barely getting up on there now, but that is still enough drag. Like literally the only thing I could do now would be to come in here on that, uh, let me find one of my other windows apart. I could, I would have to take and start playing with the connector. The problem I don't want to do that. Let me find a connector in here. I know I still got a trigger. Hang on. Here we go. And then I'm out of here. And then I'm out of here. Okay, found one. It's still kind of partially again. This is a shadow. Systems one I bought, they can get them different ways, like the old school one or the new style. So what I could do is if you see that play right here, this is what I'm talking about. So what happens is, on all of the Glock styles, is so when this comes in, whatever uh, pistol it's in, it, it should be a tight enough fit that it's not letting this play around. Because what will happen is, if, if this is too much, this will squirt out. What, uh, it'll, what I guess I'm using the word squirt out because Johnny Glocks and he calls it that's like a squirt gun. It just doesn't fire anything. It just goes past it. This doesn't drop down and you can't squeeze the trigger. So you have to have enough engagement and something holding it in enough that it rides on there and then when your thing fires as it's coming back, your slide is what actually hits that and knocks it back and then this pops up. And then of course when you let go of the trick, you know, let go of your trigger, it, it gets the reset and then you can go again. So the most you could play with is by bending this in just enough to where it's, you know, it, the, and the trick is how do you know what's enough to where this is never going to not, you know, work, yet when it pops up here, it's not pushing against the side of the pistol and that tight enough to where when it comes back for the reset on the Timney Alpha that it, it causes it to have that little bit of lag that's what's causing the lag on all the other the glock performance trigger just a stock glock the i mean i haven't heard of any glock or glock clone trigger anything other than that timney alpha that causes that and that's just because there's only one thing that spring that you put on the trigger which is way up there and i don't somehow just in how it all goes to the back it just makes it drag feel if you can feel that to where the Glock performance one there's actually spring down under here that gets that going because their trigger bar is not connected to the uh, striker where the part where the striker catches which would normally bring everything back you know with some force so anyway right school's out I gotta go uh, I'm gonna fondle my guns a little bit and then go to eat I think I'm going to, you guys ever heard of Jumping Catfish? Jumping Jack Flash? Jumping Cat, I think it's called Jumping Catfish. Um, oh, I forgot to mention this. Okay, so if, I don't know if you guys can tell or not. This thing came all black and 
just could not get it to go. Like, literally, there's no way it was machined to fit at all. So I remachined it, literally, like, chunked out a bunch of the bottom, uh, even kind of reshaped the uh, duct where the dove, you know, where it goes in. And it is on there now, though. Like, it, uh, it is on there. I doubt that it's going to move from zero or any of that. We're going to check the red dot and that. But I can't recommend this one because there's just so much work involved. You can't just, you know, tap it on with a hammer and then go. There are two set screws that I set in. But, like, it took a long time, probably a couple hours of me jacking with it to get it on and then put the set screws in with a uh, blue Loctite and then put on... Uh, this red dot with uh, Loctite. I could not use the pins. That's another thing. Uh, if you see the one on there, let me try to, uh, let me see. How can I explain it? There's like a solid black one. And this part, like the next one I'll try, this part right here won't be made on to the plate. I'm going to try one of those because this one, I'm not saying all of them, this one and the ones going around on eBay for like 15 bucks with that part made on to the plate that say they're for a Glock, that isn't and they're like universal there's 50 million holes up top uh, you're supposed to be able to put these little uh, whether it's the little one it's supposed to be like four of these little ones could go on for certain red dots or two of these big ones like for uh, trigicon rmr or the hollow sun or whatever these don't even work because they don't they they fit right in and those holes line up for your rmr but they won't let it go down far enough like uh I tried. I was thinking, okay, cool, I'll be able to use these. But if you look, there's like little uh, stops on each end. And it literally, the space you see right there in the middle, that's how high up it, <laughs> on top of on top of this red dot setting that high off the slide already, then it was wanting to let it ride up even higher off of this plate. And I'm like, that is ridiculous. Why didn't they, ha you know, because this is made to have like uh, two of these up front and two in the back. And then with the two screw, like it's, it comes with one to mount on like a Picatinny rail for a pistol or a rifle, I mean, or something. Uh, but there's no way to use any of those on that unless you were to try to go and completely remachine those in order to get them to uh, work. Which at some point, I guess if this plate doesn't move but this wiggles around, I may try to do that or just put a hollow sun and cut, cut them down or something. I haven't decided yet, but... I'm trying to make myself, if I like the whole fact of red dot setting up that high. Uh, no doubt if I had the money. I And you guys comment if you know where the, not necessarily cheapest, but cheapest affordable but good place to get a slide uh, milled for red dot. Because I know the Glock store do it still. I think they still do it for like $200 uh, guaranteed in 10 days or something. I saw somewhere as cheap as 100 110 but I don't know how good that would be they would be and then if that probably doesn't count shipping so you're going to be and then I don't think Glock store does but I don't know if I really like this I may go ahead and get it a uh, cut for a red dot or it's a possibility I'll get it cut for I know the MOS plate suck but I may get it cut for an MOS and then get the actual hollow sun that is made for the MOS and then put it on but the only problem is they don't make those in FDE that's what I'd like to have what I'd like to have is you're talking get a cut for a Delta Point Pro get the FDE Delta Point Pro but that's like 350 to 400 just depends you probably get them as cheap as say 300 when you find a deal on one but that's still a couple hundred for the cut you're over $500 to where this plate was 15 bucks, and that was just a $40 one I had laying around that won't fit on any of my other pistols, and I thought it was kind of small to be putting on a rifle because I have my big hollow sun 510T or whatever that is for my uh, AR. So anyway, all right, now I'm totally done. Thanks for watching, guys. Get on uh, YouTube and check uh, – well, you're already on YouTube. Go on to uh, – I uh, can't remember if it was a Humble Marksman. There are several people talking about even Shadow Systems uh, – themselves are talking about the I believe they have an MR 920p and the XR 920p but double check I think the MR 920p is still kind of like the Radian Ramjet the comp is going to be stuck out and the rail uh, is it's not a full length uh, chassis to cover the area kind of like what the SIGs are and the uh, XR 920 
is. So it looks, and it's pretty much the exact shape of a Glock 17, but it's got the comp built into it. Or not built in, but it's got the comp that, you know, the quick release and all that. And I, I've not heard anything negative about those. Uh, one guy up at uh, Pr uh, Frontier Justice, he said that there's a pin that he didn't like about the uh, compensators for the shadow systems. But I'm not sure if he knew what he was talking about or not. Of course, I've the only compensator I have is threaded on, so... And I've only got like a couple hundred rounds through this, and it, I mean, it's compensator. Just screwed on, tightened down these, with, didn't have any issues with it. I just don't know if I like it on the front. I just think it looks like this thing looks so good, and then when I put that on it, it just, I don't know. I can't make myself like the way it looks. Shoots good. Shoots way better with this on than without it, but I can't make myself like the way it looks. I actually like the way that that one looks on this better and that was a cheaper one. These are a hundred bucks. They're just so long and sticking out. Uh, not as bad when you put a light on. Like you, And they, they will fit on this. They just don't match up a hundred percent. I mean they match up as far as where they'll go at and they ride up top but it looks weird when you have one that's cut too much and then this big block on it. Definitely, if you're going to stick a comp on something, run a light that matches up to the length to just make it kind of settles it out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.